This is the beautiful Rhineland Palatinate region in southwest Germany. Castles and vineyards scatter this dramatic landscape, but if you thought this part of the world was just about wine, you'd be mistaken. I've come to the Birkenhof distillery, halfway between Cologne and Frankfurt, to discover a local speciality. The team here have been collecting old wine, port, sherry and even beer barrels from around the world since 2002. They fill these casks with whiskies that mature to take on the flavours of the barrel over time. The result is an impressive variety of flavoured spirits, so I've come for a bit of a tasting session with Stephanie, the distillery director. We uh, try different uh, things, for example, um, malt whiskey in a Pinot Noir cask or in a, a cognac cask or a bread whiskey or a dinkel whiskey, different, different kind of raw materials and different kind of casks. So how does that affect the whiskey if you've got a whiskey that's in a bourbon cask or a sherry cask? Oh, it's so different. Uh, the, the smell of the cask and the flavour of the cask is so different. Yes, it's a sherry cask. Mm -hmm. Please um, smell. OK, I'm yeah. a little bit small, so I'm just going to have to climb on the furniture yes. if you don't mind. <laughs> OK, let's smell this. Ooh, nice, or? You have How to... is, this, is it quite young? Uh, we filled a new spirit in it last week, okay. and it will be Fantastic. Right, well, I'll try it when it's not. Oh, uh, yes, old. it's a uh, cask strange. Be careful. Okay. Shall 60, I try it? 65%. <laughs> yes, try, please. All right, it's 65% alcohol. Yes. Oh, goodness me. Okay. <laughs> yes, you can tell it's 65% <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> Once the distilling process is complete, the liqueurs are transferred into steel drums for the final maturing stage before being bottled and packaged all on site. Steffi, we've seen how it's made, now for the fun bit. Yeah. So what are we starting with? Um, yes, yeah, so we want to test uh, beer brandy, beer of Cologne, ah. Reisdorf Kölsch. Um, and we take the, the brandy in a port wine cask. Okay. You have a fantastic balance between bitter components of beer mm. and the berry components of the, of the port wine cask. And I think it's great together with a piece of chocolate. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's soft. Yeah, it's really it's soft. Without sugar, you know. And you have the different uh, flavours, yeah? Berries. I like that. That is incredible. Beer. I would Try never in a million years pick up <laughs> a beer brandy. Okay, never. never. And why, why this particular one with chocolate? That's a, a very nice chocolate and mandarin and ginger. Yep. And, and you find the ginger and the mm. mandarin. The mandarin is uh, more important for this combination. Um, and it, yeah, it that come is, together. Okay, so the beer brandy was a winner. What are we on to next? Okay, mm -hmm. an apple wine brandy, and we distill the apple wine, and then we take it in a European oak cask, okay. and it's very nice. I say it's better than a Calvados from France. No sugar. It's only uh, the the apple brandy. And uh, yes, a little bit uh, sweetness from the cask. Okay, and wh what, is the what is the cheese? That's a French cheese, <laughs> uh, Langre. We try it together, cheese. Yeah. It's an apple uh, jam. Should but it first try it. Yeah? First, first, first yeah. Bunny. It's really smooth. And uh, the apple will come more in the front uh, when you test it together with the cheese. Okay. Cheese mm -hmm. and a little bit of the jam. Mm. Wait. Okay. Some jam. Yeah. I, I love this combination. This is good. And you have people coming around to experience this? Yeah. You have yeah. visitors. We test different uh, kind of cheese together with different kind of brandies and they love it. <laughs> it's really fantastic. Are you ready? I am ready. For the last combination. William's peer brandy with honey mm -hmm. uh, together with uh, a blue cheese, right. uh, Roquefort. And you have uh, two dominant partners, a very flavoured uh, brandy with the Williams peel on the mouth and the sweetness from the honey, uh, together with the salty and, yes, very flavoured cheese. I think it's fantastic. It what smells like a pear tartar tan. You have the sweetness and yeah. the peel, you have the flavour here. So you think the, the saltiness of the blue cheese works well? 
it had has got a very nice balance to the sweetness of the of the brandy. Mm. You know when you've been to wine tastings before, yeah. and especially when you try it with different foods, but I've never done a brandy tasting with Rockford cheese and organic mandarin yeah. chocolate. It's <laughs> yeah, just a yeah. totally new experience. And bizarrely, I think my favourite is the beer one, <laughs> which yeah. I don't drink beer. Okay. Maybe it's influenced a little bit by the chocolate, <laughs> but th those two, I think that was my favourite combination. Okay, okay. Yes, I love it too. Learn something new every day.